Hello and welcome to the Fully Charged Show. Now, we've seen many prototype and experimental vehicles on this channel over the years, and as I'm sure you're very well aware, 99% of them just disappear into the ether. But I still think it's worth reporting on new developments in this area, because every now and then, some aspect of these vehicles will make its way into the mainstream. And also, every now and then, a company that we've never heard of that becomes a startup back, say, 15, 20 years ago, is a massive company now and it's changing the world. So I think these developments are really important. So we've come along today to ProDrive. Now, ProDrive make really high-end, super powerful sports cars and incredible experimental, super amazing rating cars, all that sort of stuff. They've been doing it for years. But at the moment, they're working on something that's just a little bit different. So I'm sure you've ordered stuff online. I know I have. The statistics are mind boggling. It's an average of 181 parcels per household per year are being delivered. And right this minute, it's 160 parcels a second are being delivered around the UK. And so those parcels are all being transported in diesel vans. So what we really need is something much more efficient, much better designed, much cleaner, much quieter, much cheaper to run to take over that very, very important job. Hence, the Elm. Love the Fully Charged Show? Join us live in the South this October and in Australia, London and Canada in 2025. So this is a prototype, but it's a really advanced prototype. It's been developed by two groups, uh, ProDrive, whose amazing workshop we're in now, and Astimer, who have designed and come up with this concept, but not on their own, not in isolation, not in a little bubble. They have talked to the distribution companies, the logistic companies, and the people that use these vehicles day in, day out, who have to deal with all the problems of having a diesel van with a door that you have to open into the traffic, all that. This, you can go into this vehicle, either side. It's got a central driver's position, which means no left or right hand drive nonsense. It's super simple to use. But the most important thing is how big it is, because this thing has the capacity, the carrying capacity of one of those like proper big vans that take up a lot of room. And look at it. It's tiny. Its footprint is minute. It's got a 500 kilogram carrying capacity. And really, really importantly, in this size van, you can never get a pallet in these size vans. You have to have a really big van to get a pallet. Look at this. this is amazing. That is a full-size pallet with loads of boxes loaded in with a forklift truck. That is a real, real remarkable achievement on a, on a vehicle with a footprint this size. Absolutely amazing. Obviously, you can have this vehicle configured in any way you want. I mean, this, this has got shelves in with boxes at the moment. I know for a fact that there are a lot of interest from grocery delivery companies in this vehicle. And what they want is uh, lots, of, lots and lots of grocery delivery bags. You know, it's all bagged up, that stuff. And Normally, those vehicles are refrigerated. Refrigeration uses a lot of energy. This won't be refrigerated. This is really, really well insulated. Once you put all the cold bags in there, they're going to stay cold until you deliver them. They've really thought this through. So, let's have a look in here. Oh my God, that's nice. That is, I've got to say, for a prototype vehicle, this is extremely well finished. It's not rubbish at all. It's really comfy. Amazing visibility. This is only a prototype and the software is already reminding me that the door, the slidey door is open. So that's the, the level of sophistication. So this is an L7E vehicle. And this is very specific. So if you can remember the Citroen Ami, the little tiny thing, it, it's kind of in that category. It's restricted by size, by weight, by width. And uh, that the L7E means it's got a limited speed. It can only do 50 miles an hour. But this car is designed to, for use in cities. It's literally last mile delivery. ELM, ELM, it stands for electric last mile. That's what it stands for. That's what it's all about. It's that last bit of delivery that actually comes to your house that uses, at the moment, there's over 700,000 vans doing those deliveries every day in the UK alone, just in this country. You imagine what it's like in the rest of Europe or in the United States or in China how many millions and millions of miles of travel are being used when, because we go, I want that, beep, 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 and we order it and it comes to our house really, really fast. So these are critically important vehicles. There's a lot of interest in this vehicle from big logistics companies, as you can probably imagine. And like I said at the beginning, you know, there's a lot of these 
companies are, have tried to do various variations of, of how we do electric deliveries and how we uh, transform the transport fleet that we rely on at the moment. And I've got to tell you, this one is, this one's the most impressive I've seen. One of the things that really impresses me about the Elm is the size of it and what it can carry in that size. So this occupies 56% of the space of a Citroen e Berlingo, which I think of as a small, light electric delivery van. But more importantly than just that it's smaller, it can carry 20% more payload. It's got more room in the back to carry that. It's designed for what we really need these days. There's roughly 910 thousand delivery vans of the size you know a small delivery van that are in use and if you if you were to park them all together that is two and a half times the size of Hyde Park in London that's how much room they take up in a city uh, or about 14,000 back gardens I think that's quite a good statistic so this would free up an enormous amount of space in our cities and they're clean and they're quiet and they're easier to use and they're just nicer so I've got all my fingers crossed that this project really comes to fruition there's a lot of planning gone into it there's a lot of thought gone into the way they're going to manufacture them using cheaper parts that are readily available rather than developing super cool new parts that is kind of unnecessary for a vehicle like this you know let's hope that this sort of thing can really start to make an impression and really start to change things in our world anyway that's all we've got time for for this particular episode i'd love to thank prodrive for letting us film in this extraordinary place i'm not going to tell you the amazing vehicles that are being developed in here because i'm not allowed to please do subscribe please tell your friends about the fully charged show and as always if you have been thank you for watching <laughs>